Alyssa Steamer just got the cover of Thrasher. Uh, maybe I'll be able to pull the screen grabs from somebody that I follow on Twitter that talked about it because they're very real and they exist, but uh, the comments on this post have been limited, so I can't read them uh, here right now. But this is a super rad cover, by the way, like with the spanky artwork here, and that is a long grind as well. And like, she looks super happy here. And like, I love this. And then the little, uh, yeah, the etch a sketch, which is insane that Spanky can just do this. But um, one person commented that it was a dude doing the whole, like, I can grind this whole thing and I'm not pro thing, which is insane. And, like, there was another comment, basically. I actually will uh, try to find it right now because I do want to read it verbatim. Okay, this, is, uh, this, was, this was the comment that I was looking for. It was, uh, dang, it really pays to have a hatchet wound in 2023 or that you, that or you're a dude wearing mini skirts claiming to be a chick, which I know that hatchet wound or axe wound or whatever is like a word that transphobes use for like a trans woman's like vagina, but Alyssa is cis. So, like, I don't understand. Like, this is presumably a straight man using, like, a pretty grotesque term to describe a vagina. And it's like, but you're straight. Aren't, aren't you, aren't, don't you like women? The two pro shoes in 40 years. Yeah. Like, who has a pro, who has a pro shoe, right? Like, Alexis uh, Sablone has a, a shoe on converse and like what lizzie armanto yeah those are like the two right and there just really aren't and and then like one trans person has a pro shoe leo baker um which is a really nice fucking shoe i love it a lot um i like lizzie's shoe a lot too and Alexis's looks really nice as well, but I, I'm not really, like, not, not a huge fan of, like, low tops and not a huge fan of Converse. I've never, they've never fit my feet. But, like, I don't know. It's just, like, my thought, my thought process is, like, why are skaters so weird about women? Like, I'm talking about, like, cis women. Like, I don't, I don't get it. Because, like, this isn't actually anywhere else. Well, it is other places, but, like, a lot of the time, it's not as much of, like, a... I, I feel like for women, a lot of the time, there's, like, this expectation of them to be... Uh, well, they are physically able to do the same things that men do, and if you're watching any of, like, the women's skate contests, uh, that's there. It's apparent. Um... Because, like, ten years ago, we probably thought that, like, kickflip back tails on, like, pretty decent size, like, mid-sized hubbas uh, wouldn't be possible for women to do. And now, like, we have people doing, like, kickflip back lips, kickflip back tails, kickflip back 50s, uh, kickflip front boards. Uh, I mean, like, kickflip front feebles, heel flip front boards, heel flip back lips. Um, it's all happening right now. And those are probably tricks that 10 years ago, people didn't think women were going to do. So like they are physically capable. It's just, um, with the progression, like men's street skating and like men's contest skating got like such a big boost in like attention and for a long time, women's skating was on the back burner. It wasn't really until, Olympic qualifying events like five years ago that women's skating really started to be looked at as even like close to the same 
level of importance as like men's. And so like with all of that being there, like the progression is happening really fast. And there is just like women are proving pretty quickly that like they can do everything that men can do on a skateboard. It's just proving that like, we're a few years behind because we were kind of like not given the same opportunity and you know, like people who are like confident enough to like step up to the plate and say like, fuck it, I'm here for the progression and actually like pushing and like overcoming adversity and becoming, uh, you know, better at, at skating to become like the example of like who to look up to like that took a while. But, I mean, like, you can't really use any arguments that you're using for, like, trans people, I guess, in the way of, like, cis women. And even even then, like, what, two trans women have ever won a, a skate contest in the entire history of the activity? Yeah, I mean, it's like, there are a lot of Thrasher covers that are, like pretty simple tricks also yeah i Alyssa is um not the first woman to get a thrasher cover uh brianna gearing and samaria brevard have covers nora as well it's definitely rare though oh jamie reyes in the 90s too um, geez, it says on the post, 524, this is issue 524, that, of Thrasher, right here. Uh, 19, yeah, and 81 was the first year. Yeah, <clears throat> and there's also, like, hours of Thrasher content on their YouTube channel, and, like, how many of them are women, how many of them are queer people? Like, you can probably count on both hands. It's, like, everybody, like, there's there's a weird group of people that really like to insist that as soon as they see, like, uh, an amount of people that could maybe make up, like, your average size of, like, employees that would make up, like, an office building they see that small group of people. Meanwhile, the entire rest of the group of people could be an entire country. And they're like, yeah, these people definitely are, are starting to cause a problem. And it, it's, it's insanity. But I mean, like it's the typical conservative route of uh, making a mountain out of a molehill. You can go up to somebody and be like, um, excuse me, sir, can you stop berating people in public and yelling at them if they don't give you the answers you like? And they're like, I'm being persecuted for my religious beliefs. And it's just like, you are a baby. Please leave everybody alone. <laughs> it's like, and, and it bleeds into skateboarding a little bit because like every, like, Every mindset's going to bleed into skateboarding a little bit. There's a lot of people in skateboarding. Um, and unfortunately, a lot of people are going to get some opinions about skateboarding from three weirdos who nobody fucking likes, um, who make a whole bunch of like podcasts that really, really weird people listen to. And like... I still think it's really funny that I got under Tim Pool's skin at one point. Like, that shit is hilarious to me. I'm like, because I'm like, I'm a fucking nobody, and you have like 1.2 million subscribers on YouTube. Why are you getting offended by what I'm saying? And not even like, and, and like shadow boxing too, because he's not even saying anything that I said, like in that reply that, that happened. Like, it's it's just like, it's insane, dude. And it's the funniest thing. I don't know, man. Like, at the end of the day, when it comes to getting weird about women in skateboarding or queer people in skateboarding, um, you can watch hours and hours and hours of Thrasher content and not see a single woman or queer person at all. 
Um, if you want to worry about trans people competing in women's contests, first of all, first of all, you don't give a shit about women's contests. You skip them. So don't even act like you know what's happening in them. And secondly, two trans women have won women's contests ever. And they were both like Grom contests where the placing doesn't necessarily matter at all. It's more about like being able to basically those like Grom contests are like talent scouting. They're not like the same thing because like placing doesn't really matter in like a contest like a, like an open access, like all access contest like that. Uh, it's kind of more like, Hey, if you got sixth place and you don't really have any sponsors and a lot of people who work in the industry who are hanging around at this contest, think you're rad. You might get some free boards. It doesn't matter that you got sixth place. They, that person thought you were the sickest person there. Like it doesn't really matter. Once you start getting to like, X Games Street League Olympic qualifying level like contests, yeah, that's when the uh, placings start to matter because those are like professional level contests where people are actually competing for the actual points at that point. And it's not the same thing as like a little contest that like happens in like your hometown and you're really only skating against like the people in your community. So, like, there's a lot of weird... People are going to be weird about queer people in skating for a very long time still. But I don't really understand why, like, people are weird about cis women. Because, like, women have been a part of the skate industry since literally the 90s. And there's always been a very, very small amount of them. And I don't know what problems they could possibly be causing... Uh, that you really need to look into, like, what they're doing and, like, ascribe so much, like, negativity to it to the point where, like, literally any um, woman getting anything that you feel like they don't deserve. How many pro men have you seen that you don't think deserve to turn pro? People don't talk about that. It's always whenever it's a woman. Like, it's insane to me. I guess all, uh, I guess all I'll really say is uh, congrats to Alyssa Steamer for... Oh. Comments are here, but... Eh, I'll just pull them from Twitter. It's all good. But yeah, congrats to Alyssa Steamer. And yeah, 